Hey guys, so today I am going to be testing some summer life hacks so that you guys can see which ones work and which ones don't. Also, this video is a collab with Lily's Life DIY. Her video is going to be a summer expectation versus reality. So you guys should totally check her out and subscribe to her. And if you're from Lily's channel, you guys should totally subscribe to me. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, follow all of my social media, and let's just get started. Put a cupcake liner on top of your drink to prevent bugs from getting in. So I have my fancy straw for my cupcake liner. Like you poke it. it, it. Ah! Oh, okay. I got a hole, guys. It's harder than it looks. Um, I'm going to be adjusting it, holding it to. Okay. Uh, move your thing. It moves everywhere. If you had some tape and you taped it on, then this would be actually a pretty nice life hack, so that there's no bugs in your drink. Other than that, it's kind of like a fail. To prevent watered down drinks, make soda ice cubes. So if you guys ever have sodas and you have ice in it, and then you get to the bottom and it's like mostly ice and kind of soda, it's all watered down and it tastes nasty. To prevent this, make the soda or like whatever drink ice cubes and put them into your drink. Seeing if they kind of work and if I can get them out of the ice tray. I'll be putting it in here. I'm gonna just be putting this into the fridge. This is how the Kool-Aid ice cubes came out. They taste really good. And I think they'd be great if, like, just if you want to put them in your drink. Put a juice box in the freezer, cut it open, and there you go, a Capri Sun slushie. And because the first time I tried it, it was super hard, I'm just going to be trying to smash it with the water bottle. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, so after hitting this thing with the water bottle multiple times, I think I got somewhere with the bottom, but not the top. It looks like a slushy, but then it's just super hard. See this? This is like a huge ice chunk. The bottom actually works. I don't know how you can break this chunk. I think the best way is just let it melt. The bottom is pretty much slushified. Oh, so nice. It's like so sweet. Yeah, this is just how it is. Put a cupcake liner under a popsicle to prevent it from melting onto your hands. If you have like a popsicle, which I don't have one right now, but I do know that this like hack works. So you just have your popsicle and you stick the little popsicle stick in it. When you're eating it, all of the thing that melts, it'll just fall into the cupcake liner. You won't have to have it all over your hands and get all sticky. Want to use your phone at the beach or the pool? Just put it in a plastic bag. Whenever you have your phone and you don't want it to get all sandy or wet, but you still want to use it, put it in a plastic bag. If some water does get on it, it is water resistant, so it won't damage your phone. I have my iPod in here. I'm going to see if I can go back to my home screen. So, oh my gosh, it actually works. I didn't think it'd work. So I am just sliding through my photos. So the next life hack is a soda bottle slushy. Soda bottle like this. Before you open it, you want to shake it a little bit, kind of loosen the cap after you shake it to loosen up some of the pressure, and then put it in the freezer for three hours and 15 minutes and put it upside down. So I have this, I can like hear it. I'm going to be putting it into the freezer. Also, I'm going to be putting it into like a regular temperature bowl and pour it in and then put an ice cube in it to see if it like slushifies. This hack is kind of like a fail. Maybe I put it in for too long. This is the bottom part, so this totally looks like a slushy. Pouring the rest of this, which is kind of like a slushy. I'm just gonna pour it out. Fill empty water bottles halfway with water, freeze, and you'll have an ice cube that keeps your water cold all day. So I'm just going to be putting in this water bottle sideways. I forgot to record this, but this hack does work. I would just be careful about having the water freeze on the lid because I had some trouble opening it up. Quickly cool down a soda can, put it in a bowl of ice water that has a teaspoon of salt in it. So right now I just have my cold water soda can that is like aluminum and then I have some ice, really, really cold. I'm going to be taking some ice cubes. This can be like totally room temperature. It's not really cold at all. So the next step is to put in some salt. I think it's like a teaspoon. I'm just taking my can. I'm gonna put this in here. Really the salt is like eating away at these ice cubes. So I let the can sit there for five minutes and I didn't really see a difference. It was kind of colder, but not really. Break and cut open glow sticks and pour that into the bubble solution to create glow in the dark bubbles. And shake well. I'm gonna be cutting up the glue stick. And you wanna be kinda careful when you're cutting it. Some stuff will come out. So now I'm just going to be pouring this in here. So now I'm going to be cutting off another section. 
He's going to be gripping this. He's going to shake it really well. Kind of glowy inside. But it says to shake. Ooh, it actually Whoa. So I don't think I saw any glow in the dark bubbles and there were bubbles here. So I think this is a fail. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was pretty fun to film, and I hope you guys enjoyed this like life hacks tested video. I'm just starting my summer videos, so comment down below any video request and follow my social media, like this video, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next week.